Hi everyone and welcome back to Home Head Chef. Today we're going to be making smoked deviled eggs. Now who doesn't love deviled eggs? Today we're going to elevate it by making them on the smoker. It's really simple. We need a few ingredients so let's step up to the cutting board and see what we need. Now before we get started we want to preheat our smoker to 325 degrees. Now whatever wood chips or pellets that you use is entirely up to you and what flavor that you want. We're going to start by pulling out our seven eggs out of the fridge and we're gonna let these sit at room temp for about 15 minutes before we put them on the smoker. Our smoker is up to temp. Our eggs are at room temperature as well. We're gonna place these on our smoker for about 30 minutes. Well, it's been a half an hour. We're gonna turn our smoker down to 175. We're gonna get these off and we're gonna take them inside. Now we quickly want to get our eggs into an ice bath. We're going to let these cool completely. It's going to take about, I want to say seven to 10 minutes. Our eggs have completely cooled and now we're going to want to take the shell off of them. Now there's many ways to take the shell off of an egg. This is my favorite way. I like to crack both sides and give it a roll with a little bit of pressure and the shell will come right off. All right, we have the eggs peeled. The smoker temperature is down to 170. We're going to place our eggs that are peeled back onto the smoker. We're gonna let these go for a minimum of 30 minutes, up to an hour, depending on how much smoke you actually like. It's been about another 30 to 45 minutes. I like my eggs a little bit smoked, a little bit more smoked than most people. We have this nice, beautiful smoke color on here. What we're gonna do, now is take our egg, we're going to cut it lengthwise in half very carefully. We're going to scoop out the yolk into a separate bowl and we're going to check out the other ingredients that we need. And for the rest of our ingredients we are going to need three tablespoons of mayonnaise, three teaspoons of dried chives, one teaspoon of mustard, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a dash of hot sauce. Now that's entirely up to you if you wanna add a little spice into it or not. We're also going to need two strips of bacon, diced very small, and some salt and pepper. Once we have the yolks out of our eggs, we're just gonna start breaking them up with a fork until it's all a little crumbly. Just like that, looks good. Now we're gonna go in with our mayonnaise, our mustard, our vinegar, we're gonna, and our hot sauce, if that's the way you wanna go. We're just gonna keep mixing this up until it's a nice smooth consistency. Almost like an egg salad. Now once you get the consistency that you are looking for, we're gonna sprinkle in our chives and our bacon, we're just gonna fold this in until it's thoroughly mixed. Once the filling's done, you can spoon your mixture right into the center of the egg, or if you wanna use a piping bag and get fancy with it, you can do that too. I'm just gonna load these up. I'll show you how I like to plate them. You can plate these any way that you want to. But this is how I like to do it. I like to take my eggs and just put them around the plate, just like this. Now these are gonna be great for cookouts, barbecues, get-togethers. I highly recommend that you eat double or even triple this recipe because they are going to go fast. Just like that, let me get my garnish. Now I like to garnish each one a little bit more bacon, just like that. I think the red color of the bacon really helps pop against the white and the yellow. That looks great. Now we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of paprika, just to add a little bit more color to them. Just like that, looks great. Let's get a taste. And 
and it's that simple. Our smoked deviled eggs are done. These look fantastic. Let's get a taste. Mmm. Man. That smoke just takes a deviled egg to another level. It's perfectly seasoned. It tastes great. These are going to be a big hit at cookouts or get-togethers. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If so, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're interested in the outdoors, I also have an outdoor channel. I'll drop a link for that description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.